there are so many questions about what are we doing after we graduate? Okay. The future, do we talk about the future? It's a million dollar question. <laughs> He's new to this. Yep, first time saying that. <laughs> Hello you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Danielle. This is my boyfriend Ryan. How's it going everybody? <laughs> you're so cute, I love this. <laughs> so, back by popular demand, after his little cameo in my vlogmas this week, he was like, everyone was like, I want more Ryan content. So we're providing. Gotta give the people what they want. Gotta give the people what they want. Mm -hmm. It was so funny, people were like, you and Ryan should do a Q&A because you've never done one. And I was like, okay, you guys definitely deserve it. Let me ask. And he was so down. So what? I did one on the. the well, podcast, we did a Q and A, yes, on Gals and the Go podcast like months ago. So like a little bit of practice. So he got a little bit of practice, but this has video too. So he's definitely in my vlogs a lot, but I feel like we don't really sit down and like do the whole, you know, boyfriend tag vibe. So this is just like a Q and A. I asked you guys on Instagram to ask us questions. And you guys asked some like really cool, like thoughtful questions, which I really appreciated. So yeah, it's not like who knows each other better. It's just questions about us. Like people are like weirdly really curious. All right, let's. let's you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, a little quick cheers. Cheers. Yes. He's drinking coffee. I'm drinking a probiotic seltzer. Woo! Cheers. Okay. Who said I love you first? You did. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I couldn't hold it in any longer. I was like. No. <laughs> What's your favorite thing about each other? <laughs> favorite thing about each other. Yeah, so what's your favorite thing about me? Guess um, you know? Hmm. What? So so hard to pick. So many things. Oh, that's so sweet. I would say that you always bring a positive energy everywhere you go. Oh. You light up a room. And Thank yeah, you, you make everyone happy. Oh, thanks. Well, I was gonna say kind of similar to you, like you're just such an outgoing person, but I think my favorite thing about you, like for me, is that you keep me super just like, like if I'm like stressed, you're just like, hey, it's all good. Like you're just like a rock. Like it's just, I, and he's very just, I don't know. He's I'm a day-to-day like, -day guy. You're a day-to-day -day stable guy. You don't get stressed that much, or at least you don't show it towards me. And yeah, I can literally bring you in any room with any person, whether it's like a YouTube event or like my friends from home. And I swear <laughs> you can just like adapt like that. And it's the coolest thing. Like Aww, I, I brought him on like a brand trip with me last year to Austin, Texas. Oh, the Daniel Wellington one. Yeah, yeah and yeah, I'll yeah, yeah. never forget it, you guys. It was so funny. We were like all like influencers, like taking photos, like whatever of the table. It was like dinner. There's a photographer walking around taking photos of everybody. And it's you know, supposed to be like candid, like of us just like doing whatever. And Ryan, everyone else is like just acting casual and Ryan goes. <laughs> yeah, I'd like look right at the cameras, probably ruined a few of them, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> it was so funny, but that's what I love about you. You're just so like, hey. I'm just happy to be here. Yeah. All right, there are so many questions about what are we doing after we graduate? Okay. The future, do we talk about the future? It's a million dollar question. I know, I literally get this question every day. I wish I knew exactly what I was doing in the future. Yeah, <laughs> there's it. definitely no. I'm not worried. Yeah, we're both just kind of like, it's gonna, it's gonna work out. It'll work out. Yeah, I mean. We're looking at New York City. Yeah, we had like a conversation a couple months ago and I was kind of just like, yeah, like I, I gotta go to New York and you were like, I mean, there's definitely a lot of job opportunities there. Like you didn't, I feel like you didn't really know where, like you're just kind of like mm -hmm. down for, you know, he's into business finance, looking at careers in that and yep. that's a great place to be. Mm -hmm. um, and then also Atlanta and a couple other places. I was kind of like, oh, we'll probably have to do long distance for a little bit, but maybe we won't have to. We'll, we'll see. see. It'd be really happy if we went to New York City together. Yeah, I, I'm excited. Um, New York, is it's a good place to kind of start a business career. I know right now it's like a little weird. People are like leaving the city, yeah. so it might be a good time to go. <laughs> really. It might be a good time to go. We'll, we'll see. pop on in. Yeah, so there's no, I mean, I would love to be in New York City next fall of 2021, but I'm not, I'm thankful where I'm just going to be doing my thing. Um, so I'm not really on a timeline or anything. But, but we're not stressed. But we're not stressed, no. I'm stressed about it. No, I'm not letting us get stressed. We're both graduating at the same time. We're both seniors at UGA. Mm -hmm. I feel like I didn't say that. But um, yeah, we're both graduating in May. Very, very sad. Yeah, that was quick. That was a quick four years. Yeah, so crazy. So that's kind of um, 
where we are with that. Speaking of, I saw some questions. How did you start dating? When did you start dating? Yeah, first date was uh, the movie date. Yes. Yeah, we went to a movie. It was like, it came out near Valentine's Day, but I didn't want to like do a first date on Valentine's Day. That'd Pressure. Be, that'd be a lot. Um, <laughs> so we went the day before. So isn't yes. it romantic? Yes, the isn't and it romantic movie. You were like sponsored by it, but I yeah, didn't know that until so like the next day. That was it funny. It was so funny. I, I like, and when we first met, I didn't tell him about my Instagram or YouTube. I didn't want to like, I don't know, I was like, oh, he actually like is into me just like, cause he just knows like- Oh yeah, I didn't know like anything that. about that. And I loved that, I loved it. I was like, how long can I keep him in the dark about what I do? And then I guess he like told someone like, and then they were like, oh, I think she's a YouTube channel, whatever. But um- Yeah, Ty told me. Yeah, it was just funny, I, I don't know. It was cool though, I liked it, it was very <laughs> organic. And then like, yeah. we'd like go places and someone would like ask for a photo and Ryan's like, what? <laughs> they like ask Ryan to take a photo of me and then that was funny. Well, we went to Chipotle. Well, at one time. That was the first time I've ever seen anyone do that. And the person making, like, the oh, call yes! was like, you do YouTube. And I was like, jeez. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, this might be a bigger thing than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cool, though, because when I'm with you, I'm just kind of like, I don't always like, think about it, you know? It's just oh, yeah. like, I don't either. Yeah, no, it's nice. It's very, just like, normal, cool. But um, yeah, so we've been dating for over a year and a half. Mm -hmm. If you want to get specific, 21 months, we just counted. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it's so crazy. So we met spring of sophomore year of college. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we went on that date. We went on another date, like a picnic. You really killed it. Like, Pretty good at dates. Dating situation. Yeah, that was good. And then in March, he asked me to be his girlfriend. We met end of January. Yeah. And the Russell's history. It's flown by. It really has flown by. It's so crazy. Um, so yeah, that's just kind of a little background. Sorry, these like aren't the questions, but well, people were asking that. Um, how long did you guys talk before becoming official? I guess like really just like a month. Yeah, month, two months. Favorite date night activities? Yes. What's a date night? Give me an example. Like things we do together. I love going to dinner. Well, that's so general though. I know, but I do love like when, when we get dressed up. Like every now and then we'll like decide like okay let's get dressed up tonight and like go and it's just so fun like mm -hmm. the little stuff like that but you're right that's like we do some really cool things when we went to the tree house that was really cool yeah i like trips that's like an, well we love to do trips haven't been able to do those recently yeah but we did go we made like a tiktok i made a tiktok about it we went to banning mills and we like got a tree house for a night and it was so cool we got to go zip lining and we just like we're in the middle of nowhere our phones barely worked uh-huh and I like to do nature stuff with him because he's like an Eagle Scout and like knows uh -huh. all the things and I know nothing and I just feel very like safe when I'm with him. So I, I feel like we like to do outdoor stuff. Like sometimes we'll go to like that river and just sit on a rock. <laughs> yeah. We like to the, shoot the, the ball. I don't know. We're pretty, I don't know. I guess those aren't date night activities, but there's also not a lot of date night activities you, you can, can say do right now. And things. Yeah, outdoor is a thing. We like to, we like to, um, I don't know. Or sometimes like we'll just like watch a movie and drink a bottle of wine. Mm -hmm. You know, just like little stuff like that. I like it when we go out like an explore. When we go to Helen. Yeah. That sort of a thing. Yeah, we used to cool. yeah, we try to do little adventures in Georgia. Like we just went to the botanical gardens for the Christmas light show and we like made a night out of it. Went to dinner mm -hmm. and then we walked around. It's like this outdoor Christmas light thing and that was oh, that was magical. Love stuff like that. Do you guys fight or argue? T Do we fight or argue? Do we fight or argue? can't recall. <laughs> like, I'm being serious. I don't think we fight. We don't fight. We've never had a big argument. What's your biggest argument? There's just sometimes times like I'll be like upset or something or be like, yeah, Brian's just not good at his phone. Yeah. We that's know pretty this. Good. That, that's why I get mad. Like that is why I get mad. Yeah. yeah. I'm not looking at my phone. Like sometimes like if we like, I mean, it's true. It's, but it's not like he's not answering me. He just like, I'll be with him and he just doesn't pick up his phone for like hours. So I don't get offended <laughs> about it. It's just like sometimes like when we're together, it's completely fine. But sometimes it's like long distance and stuff. It's tough because we're not like, oh, okay. Yeah. I see what you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. More of like, not like day to day. Like when we're here, it's totally fine. But I feel like over like quarantine and stuff, just like little things, it's like a little bit harder, but I will say you're really good at like if I'm at home and he's at his, he lives here in Georgia, I live in Florida. 
you're really good like every couple of days or really like every other day be like FaceTime tonight and we'll like catch up. Mm -hmm. You're more of like a let's just like wait and like talk about everything, which I like, which I need to be better at. Yeah. Cause I'm like on my phone all the time cause it's like part of what I do. Yeah. <laughs> I so, that. <laughs> I noticed that. But when I'm around you, I'm not on my phone as much. True. True. I'm on my phone right now, but we, cause I'm like the question. Cause you gotta do the question. Yeah. But yeah, he's right. We really like, we're not lying. Like we don't fight. We don't argue. If anything, it's like me being like, <laughs> have you ever ever gotten mad at me? That's what I was trying to think. I'm just, I don't, I don't get mad too easy. Yeah, you also just don't. I don't go too high or too low. Yeah, he's just like a very grounded dude. <laughs> How did you know you wanted to date each other? Like, when did you were like, oh my God, I want to date her? So I remember going out um, early on when we started dating and talking. talking, I guess, and we were see each other a lot and then I would, there'd be a few nights where you'd stay in and I'd go out and it just wasn't as fun sometimes. Kind of missed you, uh, missed having you there. I think it would be more fun. So I was like, let's make it official. Have you always come out? It's funny too, because when you asked me your girlfriend, I was actually a little surprised. I like was not expecting it that night. Yeah? Yeah, I had no idea. I like surprises. We were like at Silent Disco where you're basically like wearing your headphones mm -hmm. and you like have to choose your own music. And I remember you like, I don't know, I guess you were just like, this is happening right now. And he like pulled me aside and like took off my headphones and like did this whole speech at Silent Disco just to me. It was the cutest thing. <laughs> it was so cute. He was like, I love that you're independent and you do what you want. Yeah, we work well like, together. We work, we work so well together. It's so great. Like we're mm -hmm. not like together all the time. It's like very like, we like have our plans and we'll do stuff. And then like, obviously we'll just like call each other and be like, hey, you wanna do something? But like, but then also like, I'll go hang out with my friends. He hangs with his friends. Like we're very like, mm -hmm. Want to make sure about that? Like, like he's hanging out with his guy friends tonight. I'm hanging out with my girlfriend tonight. Like, I don't know. It's just We're I think that's a good balance. Give each other a little bit of space. Yes, definitely. It's like I don't know. I think that maybe that's why we don't fight. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think that's a thing. Yeah, I mean, we, we definitely if we hung out 24 seven. Probably would fight. Yeah, and that's yeah. normal. So, um, how often do you guys hang out? Like in a week, how often do you think we hang out? Mmm. You want it like in hours? No, I think she just means like we definitely like see each other a lot more on the weekends. We'll kind of like grind on the week, especially with school. Say three or four days. Three or four days a week. Yeah, probably. I'd say four. Four. Probably. Yeah, like, and then like on like weekday, like Monday through like Wednesday is kind of like grind time for both of us. We might like meet up for coffee or like hang out like or have dinner together one of those nights, and then like Thursday night we'll usually do something or like hang out. Or we'll wait till like Friday, like Thursday and Saturday, yeah. and then Sunday we like do our own thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where is one location you both want to travel? Oh, Japan. Easy. I want to go to Japan. It's the most <laughs> random place ever, but like. No, I mean I'm down. Yeah. Yeah. What's y'all's number one tip for a good relationship? Oh. Um, we're pros. <laughs> Jokes. So not. No. Learning as we go. Um, number one tip for a good relationship. Mm -hmm. I want to see what you answer first. I wanted to see what you said. No, no, I mentioned all the questions first. You got to go true, first. True, 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 true. Um, I would say, I mean, for me, communication is like so important. Like, if he was mad at me, or if he was, say that. it's so. It's. I'm a big talker, as we all know. I have a podcast. <laughs> I do a lot of it. But I, I really like to verbalize things or like definitely just be like super communicative. Like, I don't know. I think it's so important. I mean, it is. Mm -hmm. Communicating. 100%. That's like probably the most important thing. That's but, um, but I mean, okay, so cheers. I don't, I don't know. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to think of something out of the box. Um, I think it's important to give each other space. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like what we were talking about before. This sounds like we hate each other when like space <laughs> we don't see each other every day letting each other be their selves like be their independent selves like not relying on each other because it is not fun to be reliant on someone else like mm -hmm. it's just you don't want to ever rely on someone for their own happiness and i think that's why him and i worked out the way we did because like when we met we were both like very like confident in ourselves very sure of ourselves and i feel like that's when you can start being with someone like mm -hmm. once i mean you know, they say like when you love yourself, 
that's when you can other people can start loving you. And it, it's true. Like when I when Ryan and I met, that's when I was like really feeling my most girl boss self, like so confident. And I honestly at the point I was like, I don't want to date anybody, like I'm just like enjoying being me. And then he came along and was like, I was like swoon. So, um, but all, that's when it happened. Yeah, and our relationships are different. Like I wouldn't definitely. Compare, I think we definitely should say that. You don't want to like compare people dating. You don't want to line up each other. Like yeah, I have that habit of doing that sometimes. I'll be like, oh, but they did this, or yeah, this is how they do it. And but that's just everyone works differently. And yeah, you're not dating that person, so <laughs> you know, like we're us, they're them, and. Yeah, definitely don't compare yeah. to other relationships because that it's not your relationship. Yeah. So many post-grad plans. I think we hit all the post-grad. I mean, yes, we see a future together, obviously. We other, mm -hmm. we wouldn't be dating if we didn't. Yeah, so. <laughs> it's getting late in the senior year to... Yeah, yeah. I know mean, people are probably gonna really start... Our friends are gonna have to start talking about that. I don't... Oh, like our other friends that are dating? Yeah. People? Yeah. I just like don't like I would not want to date if we didn't like I mean that's not a waste of time obviously but it's like yeah I don't know why would I I like being around with you I could be around with you more <laughs> does Ryan ever get uncomfortable being on camera <laughs> um you know I used to I really used to and then I had I guess like an internship last summer where I was on camera all the time I was like a I was a financial literacy instructor for kids and we were using Zoom 24-7. I got a ton of like public speaking ex experience and I think I'm a lot more comfortable now. First impressions of each other. First impressions? Well, you were in a tux so I was like... That was pretty good. I yeah. saw him from afar <laughs> in a room and he was in a tux and I was like... Couldn't be better than that. <laughs> okay, I literally was with my friend Daly. You guys know Daly. We went on my hallways from freshman year and I was like, that guy is so... I've said this story so many times. Listen to the podcast, but I was just like, that guy is so handsome, but like, I'm not going to like talk to him. Like, I'm scared. And then like five minutes later, I literally feel this tux next to me. He's like, hey, what's your name? And I was like, I don't know. That was my first impression. You were smooth and charming. Smooth and charming. So I pretty cute... You're a cute girl. <laughs> uh, across the room. And I, I remember the hair, because you have like a distinct haircut. Okay. And you're really short. I was like, <laughs> all right, let's talk to her. And then Caroline- I think I was dancing or something. Yeah, you're probably dancing. Probably. And Caroline's like, oh, that's my friend. And I was like, perfect. Yeah, he was like with one of my friends, and I guess, did Ooh. you say something to her? Yeah. And you were like, who is that, or what? Or yeah, you... what's her name? Or that be interesting. Ooh, someone's asking, Ryan, are guys bad texters or just not that into you? I'm a bad texter. <laughs> <laughs> he actually is a bad texter. I think there's there are guys that are really good at texting. Very good. So, yeah, there are guys that are good at texting. There are guys that are bad at texting. I don't know about the specific guy she's talking about. I feel like if like you're it. around him and he's on his phone a lot, then he probably just might not do that too. Cause like if I was with you and you're always on your phone, but then you don't text me when we're not together, I'd be like. Yeah, yeah, you can see if you're ever with him and he's always on his phone, he's probably a good texter. But if you're with him and he's never on his phone, I don't know, yeah. come, come some slack. Yeah, it's definitely something you have to like learn because I'm like, text me. <laughs> but the, it's kind of nice because then when we like see each other the next time, we have so much to talk about. Yeah, that too. Like, that is a way, good way of looking at it. I love it. Yeah, it's so fun. How do you keep the relationship exciting? Do new things. Yeah, we yeah. always do new things. Learn stuff together, go explore, stuff like that. Yeah, we don't, we like to just like randomly do random things. Mm -hmm. Like we went to the botanical gardens or we make kombucha together. <laughs> what are your Myers-Briggs personality types? You know yours? Oh my god, I did it, but I don't remember it now. I'm an ESTP. Great question. Nice. Do you get along with my family? I love his family. Do you get along with my family? God, I love your family. Yeah, that's such a stupid question. I'm my <laughs> brother are like in a romance. <laughs> um, no, I love his sister so much. Like, I would honestly call her such a good friend of mine. Um, she goes to school here too, and I like his parents too. Him and me and his mom text, so it's whatever. That's a good sign. They, if you. <laughs> She doesn't get along with my family, it'd be, yeah. that'd be concerning, I'd say. Yeah, oh yeah, we all, but it's weird, our parents haven't met, and I hate that. 
But it's just oh, like, yeah, they have it. Well, me. We'll figure something out one day. Do you ever get crap for having a YouTube girlfriend? No. Do you guys have similar music taste? Who gets ox? I put you on country. He put me on country music. Like, I actually listen to it a lot now. Yeah. But I find myself listening it, listening to it with you, or if I'm in like an outdoor, like beachy setting. I'm either with you or I'm like, yeah. Like I don't really listen to country music like getting ready for something. Yeah. I listen to it. We both like rap and hip hop because he likes to work out to that, um, and I just love listening to it. I would say though, like outside of country and I guess rap a little bit, um, probably not. Not the same music taste? Yeah, you listen to completely different stuff. I listen to a lot, yeah, that's true, because I listen to like Justin Bieber and stuff, and I'm like, and you're like, no. Mm -hmm. But, <clears throat> as for who gets ox, it's pretty much just like who's driving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. A lot of times we'll just scream at Alexa. Fire thirst. Yeah. Oh, well, we did it. We did it. Did you have fun? I did. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for being on the channel. This is a good time. I hope you guys enjoyed. Kind of get a little bit more insight into our relationship. Mm -hmm. We did it for two years in March. That's crazy. But yeah, I love you guys so much. Thanks so much for watching. Um, this is today's Vlogmas. So there'll be another video up tomorrow. Let us know Ooh. if you want Ryan on the channel again. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, thanks so much for being on. Appreciate you taking time out of the day. No problem. Love coming over and helping you out. Yeah. All right. Well, love you guys. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye. See ya.